Hey, my name's Steve. Uh, I want to make a video today on computer performance, uh, specifically Windows performance. I have Windows 7, but this should work on all Windows. Um, if you have Windows 8, then make a Windows 7 app. Um, that'll make everything easier to find on Windows 8. Um, I'm going to make another video on game settings and game performance, how to get more out of games. I'm going to make another video on how to upgrade hardware and, and you know all the information you, you need to do that. Um, those are going to be, you know, watch all those videos. They go hand in hand on the performance of your computer. But this one is for just your average user of Windows and the things you can do to get faster boot times and a more clean, organized, reliable computer, safe computer. Um, so let's get started. Um, first thing you want to make sure to do is personalize your computer. The more you personalize your computer, the more you're going to like it, the more you're going to be willing to do the things you need to do to keep it clean and, op and optimized. Um, if you see, you see my, my desktop changes every day to a different background. Um, I p handpicked all the backgrounds, you know, to ones that I liked. You know, that's something that keeps me interested in my computer, you know, all the time. Um, what, so the more you personalize, the more you're going to find everything that you need to know where it is, the more you're going to be comfortable with Windows. Personalization is key. But keeping your computer virus free is also very important, which is why I recommend Avast. You can get that on filehippo.com, or you can just Google for Avast and you can find it. And you can run your system scans. It has all these shields here. And uh, another th another thing, before you start downloading anything, when you go to download something, not only make sure you have the right version for your Windows, and, and you know if it's 64-bit, if you have in your C drive here. If it says x86, that means you have, if you have one that says x86 on the program files like that, that means you have a 64-bit. Make sure you're getting the right version for your Windows. When you go to install it, make sure you skip and decline all the stuff for the toolbars and extra programs you don't watch. Pay attention. Don't go too fast through installs. Even the most trusted installs do it. Um, you know, Adobe, Flash Player, um, Java, you know, they all try to trick you nowadays. You know, make sure you pay attention. But this you can get for free. It works really well. It does good scans. There's a silent and gaming mode, so you don't have any notifications and stuff. It's great. Uh, definitely pick that up. If, if you have another antivirus that you like, go ahead and use that. That's fine. Uh, if you're behind a firewall in your router, if you use a router, you most likely have a firewall enabled in there. Um, you're pretty much good on a firewall. Uh, you can run Windows firewall is fine. I have mine disabled, but you know, it's all preference there. Um, another program that you should have is Advanced System Care. I used to use CCleaner and it, you kinda had to do things manually and it definitely had a lot less options. This one, you know, it even searches for malware. It's all very quick. It has its own very quick disk defrag. I don't know how much good the disk defrag does. I put this on my girlfriend's computer and she had a laptop for about a year. She watched movies on it. That's all she really did. She didn't want to use it that much. Uh, I ran this. She had 8 gigabytes of junk files, hundreds of registry errors. It, uh, this thing completely optimized her computer made it a lot better. It's done it for me on um, past PCs and I use it weekly on my PC now minus the disk scan and disk defrag which I might do that every few months. Um, and as far as disk defrag, you can get this on filehippo.com too and you can also Google for it. As far as disk defrag goes though as Lostix or even just the w regular Windows disk defrag is good. This one has this optimized feature and it's all customizable and it's highly rated. You can get this on FileHippo, you know, FileHippo.com, and you can also Google for it, and uh, it works very well also. So, um, I've, you know, heard good things about Defragler and such. Any good disk defrag should work. You know, make sure, you know, you keep, the more you personalize, the more you keep things or organized, that's key. You know, that's key uh, to keeping you sane in your computer. If you go here, everyone has a slow boot, everyone does. If you go to start, search, msconfig, or you go to accessories, all programs, accessories, run. Try that again. Start, accessories, run. msconfig there. You hit OK. It brings you up a menu here. Go to startup. Make sure you just Google anything you're not sure about 
and if you're not using it if it, it's safe to disable it disable it it's killing your boot time it's killing your um, your overall system resources are being drained by this so make sure you have as many of these disabled as possible as you see I only have uh, three here another really important thing you should do is go to boot tab advanced options number of processors should be checked and set to the number of processors you have if you have a quad core PC or CPU you should have it on four cores if you have a eight core CPU it should be on eight if you have a dual core it should be on two that is going to give you faster boot times maximum memory zero means infinite um, there's no reason to mess with anything else it's all optimized so hit apply and you're good to go um, control panel is your best friend uh, I'm gonna keep on saying personalize uh, organize because it is key control panel I keep on the desktop I love it so much I mess around with it all the time it, it controls it's the control panel for the computer um, performance information tool information and tools which you can find obviously in the control panel right here here's power and I'm going to show you these ones power information and tools power options and administrative tools you have other stuff in here if you view by small icon if you can't see all this stuff view by small small icons and you will be able to um, I would ch I would go into every single one of these and just see what it is and, and you know if it, it, you can't do anything with it fine but you should learn about your computer and that will help you do that um, here we're at the uh, performance information and tools icon in there and you can adjust visual effects from here which you should have set for best performance now you know customizing your computer well I want best performance but I also want my translucent you know my glass effects on arrow you know which that's what that call is called when your bar is translucent down here well you can actually check those in here and still keep you know um, all the rest unchecked and it'll still help performance and you can still keep it looking pretty much exactly the same so adjust for best performance or use custom you see I customized my, I made mine black I customized them to black because that's what I wanted and it, it allows for best performance in this advanced tab here you got virtual memory you don't have it automatically manage paging file size because if it does that who knows what it's going to be doing it could be spending time making it bigger and smaller you know just set it to a custom size make it one size it should be one and a half times your ram size but you know just go with recommended or if you have a lot of ram do a little less it's up to you but just make it one set number for minimum and maximum hit set apply all that and uh you can adjust power settings also from here it should be on high performance again you can adjust all the little nuances under the advanced power settings but it should be on high performance um, specifically under the CPU um, it should be active under the system cooling or whatever <coughs> but make sure that's high performance control panel is great this is a little bit more advanced here but under the same control panel you have administrative tools and you have services this shows you everything that's running on your computer and its startup type if it's automatic disabled or manual or whatever quite a bit of things here I'm gonna give you a little cheat sheet <coughs> you can just go and Google and and type in what services to disable for for your windows and uh, you see I have Intel right don't disable Intel if you have an Intel CPU I have an AMD CPU I've never had an Intel so I don't know why this is on here that's why it's disabled but like I said just Google all these I know there's ones you know you can easily disable if you don't want your themes if you want if you're gonna use a high contrast you know black bar or something like that you can turn off themes <coughs> you know and make your own desktop backgrounds and such but this is where you optimize your computer the most because not only does it disable from running in the background but it also will um, <coughs> stop it from starting at startup so go in here do some googling read the description which is right here and, and uh, that'll help you be a little bit more in tune with your computer also as far as Windows performance goes you're organized you can find everything 
your antivirus is up to date and secured. You have you run this utility, advanced system care every once in a while. I don't run this all the time. I have all this stuff open in the video, but I actually have this set to disabled in services, so it only comes on when I start it. You have good antiviruses, you have good cleanup utilities, you have a good disk defrag, you know more about your computer, it's personalized, you like your computer, you have whatever bunch of desktop backgrounds that you like, or maybe some kind of live background or something. <coughs> um, one last thing though, uh, I'm going to touch a little bit on the control panel in other videos, so definitely check out the game setting video if you're worried anything about game performance. You should have some kind of monitor to monitor um, the temperatures of your graphics card, which is GPU, and your CPU, which is obviously the um, processor. And you just want to make sure that you're not going over your oper max operating temperature, which you can Google and find. You know, for mine, it's 62 degrees Celsius on the CPU, and I never go over that on the video card. It's uh, 90 or 100 degrees Celsius, and I never go over that. Um, it's, you can just run this all the time. Um, if if you're overclocking and you want a better program that'll actually shut off your computer, if you go above TJ or if you go above, it's going to shut off no matter what. If you go over TJ Maxx, it's going to shut off. But this, I actually have it to shut off at 65 degrees Celsius. Hasn't done it yet, luckily. Um, but you can do that with Core Temp. So also Google Open Hardware Monitor so that you can have all the information about your computer that you need. Like and subscribe. Check out my other videos <coughs> because if you want more about performance and you do even browsing browser gaming, you should check out the other videos. And uh, thanks for watching.